Tell a student in the last video we we'll see the exercise 3.3. In that video, we see the multiple angles that is 2 theta and 3 theta and the next their applications. Now in this video, we will see the conversion of sum or the difference into the product. Means what? Sin of C plus sin D sin of C minus sin D cos of C plus D cos of C minus cos D. This type of the formulas we will learn here. Also at the same time we will learn 2 sin A into cos A and 2 cos A into cos A. This type of the formulas we will learn and the problem depending on these formulas. This is the small video of it is a 30 minutes. Now let us start exercise 3.4. I hope that you will understand all the problems whatever that I had explained here. Now let us start the exercise 3.4. Now start the exercise 3.4 Now see this there is always problem my pain and that is In this exercise, that is a factorization for formulas. Factorization formulas that is sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2 into cos of c minus d upon 2. Now see this, whenever there is a sign of c plus d then to the right hand side we have different types of the functions. That is how to remember this when there is a sign then different functions. Sin of c minus d is equals to cos of c plus d upon 2 sin of c minus d. Now see this here, whenever there is a cos function to the left hand side cos c plus cos d then to the right hand side you will have cos of c plus d upon 2 that is the same type of the functions are here to remember this that is a 2 times cos of c plus d upon 2 into cos of c minus d upon 2 and cos of c minus cos d is equals to 2 times minus 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2 and the sin of c minus d upon 2. These are the very important formulas when you learn in the 12th standard that is the integration these type of the formulas we require there. Or it is written as 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2 into sin of d minus c upon 2. These are the factorization formula that is the sum is expressed in terms of the product. Sum is expressed in terms of the product. Now the next is, now these formulas that we will learn here, it is depending on the sine of a plus b sine of a minus b and the cos of a plus b and the cos of a minus b. Using that basic formula, you can write these formulas at any time. That is, we learn in the second chapter, that is the trigonometry first. Now, see this sum or the difference. That is a 2 sin A into cos of B is equals to sin A plus B 
plus sine of a minus b. Now these formulas you have learned that is sine of a plus b and sine of a minus b. Using that you can remember these formulas. 2 times cos a into sine b is equals to sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b. 2 times cos a into cos b is equals to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. And the last is 2 times sin a into sin b is equals to that is cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. These are the formulas that you have to remember. Now we will start the exercise 3.4. This trigonometry is very important. That's why I'm taking the sequentially all the three chapters here. That is exercise 3.4. Now we'll see here. The first example. Express. The following has a sum or difference of two trigonometry functions. Now see this first. There is a two sine four x into cos of 2x is equals to. Therefore, this is the formula for that is the 2 sin a into cos b that is equals to sin of in bracket a plus b plus sin of a minus b. This is the formula. Therefore, it is a sin of 4x and plus sin of 2x that is the product is expressed in terms of the sum. That is a 2 sin 4x into cos 2x is equals to sin 6x plus sin 2x. For this, formulas are required here. Now, the next is two times sin of 2 pi by 3 and cos of pi by 2. And doubt there that is the cos of pi by 2 means cos 90. Cos 90 is 0, but how they take the angle I can't understand. But till I am giving the solution of that, that is a 2 sin of 2 pi by 3 into cos of pi by 2 is equal to again the addition of these two angles that is a 2 sin 2 pi by 3 plus pi by 2 plus sin of 2 pi by 3 minus you see this minus pi by 2 and that's why we are getting if you add these two then we will get that is a sine of 7 pi by 6 plus sine of 4 pi by that is a pi by 6. This is the answer. Now the answer from the textbook is different. That where I have that is the yellow mark is there. That is a 2 cos of 4 theta for the second problem. The answer is different from the textbook. Therefore, I had written. I write there the yellow mark. You check it. That is a 2 times cos of 4 theta into cos of 2 times theta. Now, apply the formula for the cos. That is a cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. 
that the 4 theta plus 2 theta is a cos of 6 theta and cos of 4 theta minus 2 theta is a cos of 2 times theta. Therefore, next is that is a 2 times cos of 35, cos of 75. 2 times cos of 35, cos of 75 is equals to cos of a plus b means what cos of 35 plus 75 plus cos of 35 minus 75 and 35 plus 75 I make small addition of these two that is it is 110 but I write there 105 by mistake I am changing it that is a cos of minus 40 and cos absorb the negative sign therefore it is a cos of 40 I am changing the 105 is not correct one it is a, the sum is 110 now I had changed it 110 <coughs> therefore 2 times cos of 35 into cos of 75 degree that is the cos of 110 plus cos of 40 see this now the next is prove that this is very important if you uh, you have the good command on the formulas then you can prove it very easily but again till it requires you see the solved examples from the textbook and these are the unsolved now sin 2x plus sin 2y upon sin 2x minus sin 2y there must be the 2y that is a, to the denominator I had made small mistake that is a sin of 2y I am changing it LHS we are considering LHS now see this very simple now apply the formula for the sin of c plus sin d that is a 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2 into cos of c minus d upon 2 and to the denominator cos of c plus d that is a 2x plus 2y upon 2 into sin of c minus d that is a 2x minus 2y upon 2 if we take the two common in the bracket that 2 to get cancelled and therefore you will get sin of x plus y upon cos of x plus y into cos of x minus y upon sin of x minus y and that's why you are getting tan of x plus y and here is cot of x minus y therefore tan of x plus y upon tan of x minus y and this is the RHS and hence LHS is equals to RHS. Now the next is second sin 6x plus sin of 4x is minus sin of 2x is equals to 4 cos x into sin 2x into cos of 3x. Now again see this, there is a one more doubt there, that was I think that there is a not negative sign but I had taken the negative sign there. Now consider the LHS, that is a sin of 6x plus sin of 4x minus sin of 2x. In the textbook, there is not a negative sign, but I introduced there. Now see this sin of c plus d, that is a 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2 into cos of c minus d upon 2. <coughs> and the last term as it is, that is a sin of 2x means what? 2 sin x into cos x. Normal formula is there. Now 4x plus 6x is a 10x upon 2 and 6x minus 4x is a 2x upon 2 
minus 2 sin x into cos x. That is a 2 sin of phi x into cos of x minus 2 sin x into cos x. And now if you take the common, that is a cos x is common. Therefore, you will get 2 cos x in bracket cos of phi x minus sin of x. Again, the apply the formula for the sin c minus sin d. That is a 2 times cos of c plus d upon 2 into sin of c minus d upon 2. Now, see this 2 into 2 that is a 4 cos x and cos of 5 x that is a 6 x upon 2 sin of 4 x upon 2 and that is why 4 cos x cos of 3 x sin of 2 x and this is 4 cos x sin of 2 x cos of 3 x and that is RHS and hence LHS is equals to RHS. Now the next is third sin x minus sin of 3 x plus sin of 5 x minus sin of 7 x upon cos x minus cos of 3x minus cos of 5x plus cos of 7x is equals to big expression is there that is a cot of 2x now see this again this is a very simple therefore we will consider the LHS all the problems tells that you must know the formulas sum and the difference that express in terms of the products that is a sin x minus sin of 3x plus sin of 5x minus sin of 7x cos of x minus cos of 3x minus cos of 5x plus cos of 7x now see this that is sin x plus sin of 5x and the next in bracket minus sign is common sign of 3x plus sign of 7x and the next cos x minus cos of 5x and the next bracket minus sign is common that is a cos of 3x minus cos of 7x. Now see this here. We will apply the formula. Now this judgment you will get when you make the number of the time practice. That is a 2 times sin of c plus d upon 2. That is a 2 times sin of 5x plus x upon 2. Cos of 5x minus x upon 2 minus sin 7x plus 3x upon 2 and the cos of 7x minus 3x upon 2 and this whole divided by again apply the formula that is the cos c minus cos d then you will get whenever there is a minus sign between the cos then there is both terms must be the sign that is the sign of x plus 5x upon 2 and the sign of d minus c that is a 5x minus x upon 2 minus 2 times again the cos c minus cos d there is again minus sign and hence there must be the present that is a both times sign that is a 2 times sign of c plus d upon 2 into sign of d minus c upon 2 therefore simplification 5x plus x is 6x upon 2 that is sin of 3x cos of 2x and the next is 2 to get cancelled to the denominator and the numerator sin of 3x into cos of 2x minus sin of 5x into cos of 2x and to the denominator sin of 3x into sin of 2x minus sin of 5x and sin of 2x.
Now, if you take the common to from the numerator, that is a cos of 2x, that is a sine of Now, in this case, that is a cos of 2x is common. I hope that there is a small mistake in writing myself of me. That is, instead of cos of 3x, there must be the sine of 3x. That two terms get cancelled to the numerator. Cos of 3x instead of cos of 3x is replaced by sine of 3x. Then that two brackets get cancelled. Now consider the LHS. That is sine of 18 and cos of 39 plus sine of 6 cos of 14, 15 is equals to sine of 24 and cos of 33. Now see this here. Adjust to the numerator and denominator by the 2. Consider the LHS. That is 1 upon 2 in bracket 2 cos of 39 into cos of 18 plus 2 times cos of 15 and the cos of sine of 6. Now see this here. We apply the formula that is a 2 times cos c into cos sine d. That is a sine of c plus d minus sine of c minus d because the starting there is a cos. And in the next bracket, you will get sine of 15 plus 6 minus sine of 15 minus 6 bracket complete. And that's why you are getting that is a 1 upon 2 in bracket. That is a sine of 57 minus sine of 21 plus sine of 21 minus sine of 9 bracket complete and that's why we get sine of 21 get cancelled and the sine of 51 minus sine of 9 therefore here Apply the formula that is a 2 times there is a minus sign in between these two. That is a 2 times cos of c plus d upon 2 and sine of c minus d upon 2. Therefore, whenever there is a sin c minus sin d, then the starting is from the cos. That is a cos of c plus d upon 2 into sin of c minus d. Now Simple addition is there. That is the cos of 66 upon 2, sine of 48 upon 2, that is the cos of 33, and sine of 24. Therefore, sine of 24 and cos of 33. That is RHS, and hence LHS is equals to RHS. Now the next is cos of 20, cos of 40, cos of 60 and next is cos of 80 is equals to 1 upon 16. Again this is very simple. Now see this cos of 20, cos of 40, cos of 60. And the cos of 180. Sorry, 180 not, it is a cos of 80. Now the value of the cos 60 is 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 cos of 20, cos of 40, cos of 80. Therefore, that is again adjust 1 upon 2, that is 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2, 2 in bracket cos of 40, cos of 20, 
and cos of 80 in the outside bracket. Now 1 by 4, 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2, 1 by 4, cos of 2 times cos A into cos B, that is a cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B, cos of 80. Now 1 by 4, cos of 60 plus cos of 20, bracket complete, cos of 80, now see this, 1 by 2 again, that is 1 upon 2 into 1 by 4, cos of 60, cos of 80, After the multiplication, you will get that we have adjusted to there. Now I am adjusting there. That is 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 4, that is 1 upon 8 in the bracket. I am writing now the 2, that is a 2 cos of 80 and the value of what cos of 60 is 1 upon 2 plus 2 cos of 20 and the cos of 80 is written in this manner that is a cos of C A plus B plus cos of A minus B. Therefore, it is a 1 upon 8. That's 2 to get cancelled. We get the cos of 80 plus cos of 100 plus cos of 60. Now again see this. I think that there is again small mistake by me. There is a cos of 80, cos of one term. There is a cos of 80. I am changing it. It is 1 by 8, 1 by 8. Cos of 80 plus Cos of 100 can be written as cos of 180 minus 80. Means cos of pi minus theta. Cos of pi minus theta is a, whenever there is a pi angle, the function remains as it is. It is a minus cos of 80. It is in the second quarter. In second quarter, cos is negative. Therefore, cos of 80 minus cos of 80. That get cancelled. Plus 1 upon 2 in the bracket. Therefore, 1 upon 8 into 1 upon 2. That is a 1 upon 16. That is RHS. Therefore, LHS is equals to RHS. Now the sixth one, that is sine 20, sine 40, sine 60, sine 80 and that is equals to 3 upon 16. Now see this, the LHS sine of 20. sin 40 next is sin of 60 sin of 80 now see this here that is a sin 20 sin 40 the value of sin 60 is root 3 upon 2 sin of 80. Now the next is that is a root 3 by 2 into sin 20 into sin of 40 into sin of 80. Now again we are that is a adjusting the 2 that is root 3 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 2 sin 40 into sin 20 and thus into the sin of 80. Now root 3 by 4 in bracket 2 sin of 40 and sin of 20 that is can be written as cos of c minus d that is the cos of 40 minus 20 minus cos of 40 plus 20 into sin of 80 and that is why we will get that is the root 3 by 4 root 3 upon 4 cos of 40 minus 20 
that is the cos of 20 cos of 40 plus 20 that is the cos 60 into sin of 80 and the next is root 3 upon 4 again we are adjusting there the 2 it is multiplied with again sin of 80 therefore 2 times sin of 80 into cos of 20 minus 2 times sin of 80 into cos of 60 and that's why root 3 upon 4 upon 8 in bracket sin of 80 plus 20 plus sin of 80 minus 20 for this is the first and next is 2 sin 60 is again 1 upon 2 into sin of 80 as it is therefore root 3 by 8 sin of 100 and next is sin 60 that again 2 to get cancelled we are getting the sin of 80 that is the root 3 upon 8 in bracket we can write this sin of 100 is 180 minus 80 sin 60 we can find out its value that is root 3 upon 2 minus sin 80 it is now sin of 180 minus 80 that is a sin of pi minus theta is a sin theta because it is in the second quadrant it is a positive therefore it is a sin of 80 plus root 3 by 2 minus sin of 80 and that too gets cancelled therefore we get root 3 upon 8 into root 3 by 2 root 3 into root 3 that is a 3 by 16 and that is equals to the RHS and in this way we have completed the exercise 3.4 I hope that you have understand all the problems whatever that I had explained sometimes there may be the correction in writing of myself or me I may be made a mistake but I am corrected it afterwards when I know there I know that if you now we will see in the next video till then goodbye I hope that you have understand all the problems whatever that I had explained here if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also if you are new for this channel then subscribe it and share it with your needy friends if you if you like this video then like it now we'll see in the next video till then goodbye